What is up everyone, Barricade here, and I'm bringing you guys a quick Gears of War update video. Just earlier today, actually, they released a quick article uh, talking about the new title update for Gears of War Ultimate Edition for this month, I guess, coming out actually tomorrow. So tomorrow you'll receive an update for Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and you'll be seeing quite a bit of, you know, huge updates here and there overall when it comes to the game. Um, one thing that they basically... Um, stated that I didn't even know this was an issue like I'm kind of actually a little annoyed about this that I didn't even know this was happening but apparently if you want this seriously achievement you know get 10,000 kills in multiplayer you had to play in competitive I didn't know that apparently you have to play in competitive but with this new update they're fixing it and making it to where um, you can play in social now because I personally I play social mostly because my friends like to play King of the Hill and TDM so we that's what we do so that it's not because we don't like playing competitive it's just because we like those two game types and those two game types just so happen to be in social and it kind of annoys me that this whole time that I've been playing you know that I re-upped and everything none of those kills were counting towards my seriously achievement that kind of like really like I have a lot of kills you know and just for them to just to find out that none of it counts towards my seriously that sucks but at least now going forward when they start playing this game after tomorrow basically when I play King of the Hill to DM whatever game type we're playing it will count towards the seriously achievement they're basically fixing that making that to where any game type counts towards it and yeah and then when it comes to the playlist themselves they basically stated that execution will get more XP now um, they're actually moving Blitz from competitive to social, which is kind of funny because for a while back they kept talking about how Blitz was a more competitive hill game type, and now they're moving it to social. I don't know what this means. I don't know if it means that they're moving King of the Hill back to competitive or whichever, but Blitz is no longer in competitive, and then now they are actually adding a competitive TDM game type now. So I, I'm not sure how that works, if it's going to differ in terms of like weapon spawning or anything, but they are basically going to have a um, competitive TDM now on Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Pretty sure what it sounds like is they're just basically taking Blitz, moving it to social, and then taking TDM and throwing it back in competitive. I don't know if there's going to be two TDMs or what. They kind of didn't specify here in this article. And then later they also stated that um, they're returning Warzone as a permanent playlist and also uh, returning Assassination as a limited playlist for a limited time. Don't see why. Um, assassination is kind of a dead game type to me. It was never really popular. Um, they should just freaking replace it with Guardian, honestly, because I did play Assassination with my team a few weeks back, and it was actually really fun. Um, but the thing that makes it boring is the fact that once you kill the leader, it's just over. We wish that once you kill the leader, you have to kill everyone else. And if they made it like that, made it Guardian style, that game with type would be really fun, honestly. It would be really fun, and I think me and my friends would be playing that a lot more. Um, so those are the major playlist-based um, playlist, um things that they're doing, you know, just things like that. Very simple, nothing too crazy. As far as the actual improvements to the game, the way the game goes down now is besides the seriously achievement, they're working on the boom shot hit registration, um, which is actually really good because honestly the boom shot is freaking broken as hell. Um, there's been moments where I literally shot the boom shot at someone's feet and literally shot it at someone's two people's feet, actually. Maybe I can post the clip right here. Hopefully I'll put it up right here, but we'll see. But regardless, I shot a boom shot at someone's uh, multiple people's feet. Nothing happens. The ground just sucks it up, and they're fine. And they barely took any damage, if any. And so that's happened to me multiple times, and it's really been really annoying with the boom shot. Like I don't understand an explosive weapon. I don't understand how something like that can be, you know, just basically nullified by the way you shoot it. I guess. And then another thing that they're fixing is. Um, fixing long wait times for matches, which is good. Hopefully it is an improvement. They said that numerous times, but we'll see. The other one that they're working on is hit improvement for someone that's down, which is honestly a big issue with me. I've had multiple times where I'm shooting someone, they're down, shoot them two, three, four times. They just don't die. And then the person that their teammate just kills me, and then they end up saving them, and it's just like, what the fuck? Like, I shot you like six times while you're down. Like, seriously, come on. That's freaking annoying. And then they're also working on this uh, left trigger issue, which means, I don't know if this happened to you guys, but it's happened to me a lot where basically I hold LT to like do like a pop shot or something, and then I push RT to shoot, nothing happens. Just sit there and looking at him with my gun, just aiming at him, nothing happens. And they're working on that, so hopefully they'll fix that as well. 
Um, and then everything else is a civil, um, simple hit detection fixes against cover, um, just moving, fixing things with the alternate control scheme, and just overall general um, bugs and fixes, and you know, fixes to bugs, I mean. Um, just simple overall general update, you know, nothing too crazy, just moving around playlists, fixing the boom shot supposedly, and fixing the left trigger. Those are pretty much like the three major things. The major, major one is just fixing seriously, because I didn't even know that seriously was an issue. I thought that you could just get it no matter what you played, but I guess you have to play competitive until now, which is kind of stupid. But they're fixing the game, they're bringing it up, it's going to be pretty good. And then also one last thing that they're also doing is they are putting a new temporary game type known as Seriously TDM. Basically it's TDM, but it has like twice as many lives or like 30 lives or some crazy thing like that. It's just to help people build up their Seriously achievement more than anything. I'll probably try it out and make a video about it later. But overall, general fixes, general update, nothing too excessive. But anyways guys, if you guys liked this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think about this title update for Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Just seems like a quick little update, nothing too excessive, but just something to give us, you know, a little extra to the game and, you know, give us something to chew on for now until Gears of War 4. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and take it easy. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my most recent Gears of War video, hit that link on the left. If you want to see my most recent Dragon Ball video, hit that link on the right. Thanks for watching guys.